If you want the mercy of Allah to descend, if you want the help of Allah to descend, then you have to do actions. In the time of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, one, one Muslim prisoner was humiliated in the Byzantine lands. And the news reached Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. And Umar ibn Abdul Aziz wrote a letter to the governor. And he said, before you place this letter down, free that Muslim prisoner. For by Allah, I will send an army which begins here and ends where you are. In the time of Muttasim, one Muslim lady was slapped in the Byzantine lands. And she cried out, Wa Muttasima. And the Romans began to laugh and they said, why are you calling Mu'tasim? He's thousands of miles away. You think he's going to jump on his black and white horse and come and save you? And the news reached Mu'tasim. The news reached Mu'tasim. And Mu'tasim sent an entire army for the Izza of one Muslim lady. And he told every single one of them. He said, each one of you climb and when you go, go on a black and white horse. And you look, and you look. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq is not going to come. Aisha and Khadija are not going to come. Today, if there are any heroes, you people have to become the heroes of Islam. You have to learn about your deen. And then you have to translate those knowledge into actions. The problem is that we don't translate, we talk. You know, how often do you see brothers? They're talking for hours about the decadence of the Muslim ummah. Come Fajr Salah, you can't wake up for the Fajr Salah. Understand, you are the slaves, Allah is Samad. You have to fulfill the conditions and then the help of Allah descends. That's when the help of Allah descends. Not that you do nothing and you go on lackadaisically in your lives. Dunya is your maqsid. You don't learn anything about your deen. If we want the help of Allah to descend, we have to translate our talking into actions. Translate our talking into actions.